Xi Jinping claims an overwhelming victory against corruption. But that is a lie. Welcome to John Uncensored, and I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Toolbox. Monitor your PC for software crashes, hardware failures, and the kind of glitches that make your life miserable. So, some people think the Chinese Communist Party is a little bit corrupt. And I get it. A regime that kills people for their organs and uses rape as a form of torture might not seem like it's made up of the most upstanding, honest citizens. But this month, there seems to be some good news. Xi Jinping says China has won an overwhelming victory against corruption. But while overwhelming victory sounds like some kind of overwhelming victory, it's not that simple. Xi Jinping had declared something like this before. In 2018, he declared an overwhelming victory against graft. So basically one type of corruption. But obviously, that victory wasn't very overwhelming because he's clearly been struggling against corruption in the four years since then as well. And even now, Xi Jinping says more work is needed to tackle the problem. He says that from now on, there should be zero tolerance toward corruption. And there should be policies to make sure officials are not involved in corruption because they do not dare to, are not able to, and do not want to. That's a weird threat. It's like if you wanted to go on YouTube to talk about alien pedophile vaccine conspiracy theories, YouTube would immediately shut down your channel. So you don't dare to, and therefore don't want to? At any rate, Xi Jinping is moving quickly. Earlier this month, he announced a new rule to further rein in corruption, monitoring the business activities of officials' families. Officials must report business activities of their spouses and children, and those who fail to do so or seek to skirt the rules will be dealt with seriously in accordance with regulations and laws. And officials now need to either get their families to withdraw from these business activities, or they have to step down from their posts as communist officials. This could affect dozens of high-ranking party officials and potentially millions of lower officials. For decades, party members have installed family members in all sorts of positions, from state-owned companies to foreign joint ventures, private equity, and more. This anti-corruption push is a big deal, but it's also not about fighting corruption. I'll explain more after the break. Welcome back. Xi Jinping is talking about fighting corruption within the Chinese Communist Party, and he claims to have won an overwhelming victory. But that's just not true. From the very founding of the Chinese Communist Party in 1921, it was based on corruption. Essentially, you had a group of thugs whose plan was to kill rich people and take their stuff, and then take over the country. Mao Zedong talked about using the lumping proletariat for his revolution. That refers to the social outcasts, especially criminals, including members of triads and secret criminal societies. Mao wrote in 1926 that the lumpen proletariat can become a revolutionary force if given proper guidance. And guidance he gave. Mao specifically used the lumpen proletariat to fight his communist revolution. Who else but criminals would be more willing to kill rich people and take their stuff? And when the Communist Party finally came to power in 1949, guess what kind of people were high-ranking party members? A lot of them were criminals. Even today, there's a tight affiliation between the Communist Party and triads. Check out our interview today on our China Unscripted podcast, where our guest Sam Cooper talks about party-linked triads running drugs and money laundering in Canada. The Chinese Communist Party is basically what you get when you get a group of gangsters to take over an entire country. They control gang members. They lock away so-called enemies. They take over other people's territory and they fight constant internal power struggles. Violence and corruption are how the Communist Party stays in power. 
That's why I said Xi Jinping can never truly eliminate corruption in the Chinese Communist Party. But that's not his real goal anyway. His real motive behind winning a victory over corruption is winning a victory over his political enemies. For example, former leader Jiang Zemin. Jiang Zemin's son, Jiang Mianhong, is a powerful businessman. He has his fingers in everything from state-owned enterprises to joint ventures. In 2012, the Hollywood company DreamWorks Animation began a joint venture in China called Oriental DreamWorks to create animated and live action entertainment for the China market. DreamWorks partnered with two Chinese companies plus Shanghai Alliance Investment, which is an investment arm of the Shanghai municipal government. Jiang Mianhong was chairman and CEO of Shanghai Alliance Investment, meaning the son of Xi Jinping's biggest rival had a stake in a $300 plus million dollar company controlling media and entertainment in China. Side note that American joint venture was eventually bought out completely by a Chinese company, once it was no longer useful to have the Americans on board. Anyway, the list goes on. The son of former President Hu Jintao, Hu Haifeng, once managed a state-controlled firm that held a monopoly on security scanners used in China's airports, shipping ports, and subway stations. Former Chongqing party chief Bo Xilai, who got taken down by an internal power struggle in 2012, had his own network of family corruption, with at least $160 million in assets held by his close relatives. Basically, communist officials from top to bottom are out to make money, and they often do it through corruption. That includes installing their relatives and companies poised to make money with the help of their party contacts. The brilliant thing about Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign is it's actually a powerful weapon he can use to go after his political enemies while having the plus side of making it look like he's going after corruption. But it's selective. Xi Jinping never sought corruption charges against his ally, former Premier Wen Jiaobao. Wen's family members were worth hundreds of millions of dollars, often through corruption, as you can see from this New York Times graphic. But with his friend, Wen Jiaobao, that's okay. So for all my viewers in the West reading these glowing articles about Xi Jinping fighting corruption, don't be fooled. Xi Jinping is not really targeting corruption. He's just struggling against his political enemies, like a good communist. But because the entire Communist Party is based on corruption, Xi Jinping will never actually win an overwhelming victory. Just wait a few more years and president for life Xi Jinping will once again make an announcement declaring victory over corruption. Don't be fooled that time, either. And this episode is sponsored by PC Doctor Toolbox. There are many reasons your computer crashes, like buggy software, hardware failures, and general slowdowns with older computers. And the worst part is, your computer always seems to crash at the worst times, like when you're about to give a presentation, or when you're on the road and there's no IT person around to help. Fortunately, there's PC Doctor Toolbox with remote monitoring. If you're concerned about the health of your computer and want tools to prevent untimely system issues, you should be using PC Doctor Toolbox. Stop crashes before they happen. And we have a special announcement for China Uncensored viewers. Toolbox is now free for personal use on up to five PCs with free remote monitoring. Use the link below to sign up and download your five free copies of Toolbox today. I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.